What is up everyone? I'm back in that video. Um, we're in Microsoft Paint, so if you guys want to listen to this video, go ahead. Um, you don't really have to see what's on the screen, but I mean, I'm going to put things on the screen. Anyways, um, to start off the video, I'm going to be talking about... Um, it, it happened in a different version, not our version, yet, I believe, because I do fully believe it'll come to our version. But basically, in Japan, a new Guardian released, uh, Beyond Shining. It's like, it's like Phantom or something, I don't know. But it's not our normal shiny type of Guardian. It could just be a different type of shiny. It could be called Phantom. I know Shrugger calls it Phantom, but I don't actually know if that's what it's called. But yeah, um, I think this basically gives us a warning that they can always go beyond shining. And this also get, makes me um, question, is shining cards, guardians, etc. still worth buying right now? So I decided that I'd um, make a video compiling the things and shinings that I think are worth getting and that you should still get. And then... I wouldn't rec really recommend anybody getting extra stuff, if that makes sense, because, um, un well, I think that if you want extra stuff, then get extra stuff, but under the assumption that th these things will be, how do I say, replaced, I feel like we should act accordingly, if that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put talisman cards. For talisman cards, I think you can't get wrong with... Aeneas and Chattershini. I think the, the, if you have these two talisman cards, you don't really need to worry about buying other ones as of right now because these are basically the best talisman cards in the game. Um, other ones are also pretty good. There's like Empress, a Priest is decent. Um, there is Margina, um, Apolis. There's other other shiny cards, but those are all replaceable in my opinion. They'll be replaced eventually, or they'll be moved to assist or something like something along those lines. But these two cards, I believe, are irreplaceable at least for the next three years probably until we get like four more cards that are red in these then these two cards aren't, aren't going anywhere um for headwear cards uh here we go i have um shiny dexter uh what is it called night monarch shining night monarch and um shining uh shadow knight i think those two are the best headwear cards in the game they're both worth getting um they both shine Outside of these two, I don't think there's a single header card really worth getting right now. Outside of these two. They could add one in rank 9, but they, they might not. So, But these two are the definitely bona fide only ones that I would get. Um, and then, what do we have next? Uh, armor cards. I think four black hats, like four shining black hats, is like basically... Oh my gosh. Hold on, let me redo that. I think for armor cards, you have four shining black hats. Can I just dupe this? No, I can't. But you have four shining black hats uh, for armor cards, in my opinion. I don't think that you should get more than, or well, five, I guess, for the mountain courtyard as well. Uh, mountain courtyard is also worth it. But yeah, four shining black hats, I think that the black hat set is worth having. Um, everyone should get this set, if possible, because it comes with, through the Genki Gacha. Um, so I think that if you do Genki, you should be doing Genki Gacha. Well, not, yeah, Genki Gacha, Gen Genki event, Genki, whatever it's called. Um, to get like these shining black hats and um i know that there's a shining uh ooh, what's it called the shining meloetas as well let me go ahead and take a screenshot of those uh sorry for your ears in advance uh i tried to get all the screenshots beforehand but i definitely forgot about that one anyways um yeah shining meloeta for assist i think is always going to be relatively good um th there's no real area where you shouldn't i don't think that you can say that these are ever going to be bad in assist um, unless you, like, really well up all your cards and stuff, so yeah. Um, those are the armor cards that I recommend, and I think are good, worth getting. Um, and I know that I'm the biggest Lionheart Knight preacher, obviously. I preach Lionheart Knight. But I think this isn't worth it right now. At least right now. I think that this will scale over time. Can I change the color? Scales over time. There we go. I think that Lion Knight will scale over time, but right now, I don't think Lion Knight is worth getting. Um, because, but yeah, I just don't think it's worth worth getting right now. I mean, Silver Coin is good, but I also don't really want to afford Silver Coin. I think that if they ever add it into Genki Gacha, I'd definitely go ahead and finish my Lion Knight set. But as of right now, no. Also, I forgot to mention, but this Guardian is Coercion as well. So that's the third Coercion Guardian that we're able to get. Um, which is also a pretty big deal as well. So that basically directly correlates to Shining Light Knight scaling. Um, and then what else do I have? Okay, Guardian-wise, 
The shiny guardians that if you're gonna get shiny guardians, the guardians that you need are these two. Sakura, Envoy, and Butterfly. And you can actually double up on these. You can double up on these guardians. Um like you can get two Sakura Envoys and two Nether Butterflies. I think that's very worth it, honestly, in my opinion. That's my plan eventually, but right now I'm not really pitying a dice. I'm not really pitying any events lately. Um, I'm not I'm not really too big into getting things like that right now. But I, I do plan on one day doing 100 laps in dice to get the shiny headwear, which brings me to my next point. <laughs> the shiny headwear. Alright, so, uh, yeah. These are basically the must-haves. Like, the must-haves. Yeah. Must... Haves or best. Let's say best. These these are all worth value wise. The only one that I don't really like the price of is Empress because Empress uh not Empress um Anas because Anas is really expensive through bingo event. But uh Shadow Knight is now in the Genki Gacha. Um, you can get Night Monarch, but Night Monarch used to be with a black cat, but now they change it to Mio sets or Aegwin sets, so I don't really like that. But Night Monarch, you should uh, get this as well. I think that's worth it. Shadow Shnee is not available right now, but I think that it'll be available in Gank Gacha next as well. Um, Meloetas are available in the... Uh, what is it called? The Genki Gacha as well, but um, I think that... I'm not sure if you're able to still get these right now. But for those of you who are low, lower level and are so on the lower level Genki Gacha, um, do the Genki for the Meloetas while you can. I think it is very worth it in my opinion. I think that the coercion you gain is worth it. You don't have to run ignore defense cards in the main slot. Just a very useful card in general. Um, probably a permanent assist card for a very long time. Has it? The set effect isn't that good, but I mean, it's whatever. Um, best guardians, undoubtedly, only coercion guardians. Because if this third guardian is coercion, that means there's at least three guardi three coercion guardians, right? So there's three coercion guardians, and then they could add a fourth because this, um, the new guardian that is in JP is actually like equivalent to the nether butterfly. It's the equivalent to this. Like these two are equal basically in p terms of PVE damage. Um, and it's actually weaker than Sakura Envoy. So I, I have reason to believe that they'll eventually release like a, another version of it, of another version of the same Guardian with higher stats, like Soccer Envoy to another Butterfly. And then the Shiny Head, I don't think the Shiny Head will ever be Power Crap. And I, I could stand corrected on that, but at least for the next two, three, four years, I'd say that it's not going to be Power Crap. And I hope the game lasts that long, because I really love this game. Um, so yeah, those are my uh, takes. And also, uh, this is kind of a, a, a weird one, but I think that this card is low key if you get this card in um what is it in genki gacha not it's not bad value this is not a bad value card like i have this card over almost every other assist card that uh, a normal player can get unless you're a whale you're really using this card for a long time i've had this card for like a year and a half now i don't know ever since shiny card came out um, it's better than Shining Hera's, it's better than Shining of Thills, which are my other two assist cards, and I'm not, I'm going to be keeping it for a while. So that's my thoughts on Shiny cards, Shinies, etc. Um, I know it's a bit of a longer video, I'm chatting a lot, but I just really think that the fact that they basically, um, told us that, hey, we can always just push out a better upgrade. Like, I thought Shiny was the end game, but Shiny might get surpassed or might have an equivalent not even surpassed just an, at least an equivalent so there will be other cards etc coming out um um so yeah that's my thoughts on it. shiny cards what like if you're gonna buy cards guardians etc what to get and then i'll probably make a video on like the permanent upgrades to get like that aren't related to cards and stuff like that so yeah um, thanks for watching though i'm sorry this video kind of ran on a little bit a little bit long but uh i'll see you guys next one and i hope you all enjoyed